what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'm going to be giving you 10 tips on how you can improve as a rocket league beginner tip number one the kickoff i do it here and here and pretty much in every game now why do i put kickoffs at the top that'd be because in every game you'll be faced with the kickoff and if you're good at kickoffs then your win chance goes up now how do you get good at kickoffs well first thing first Whatever I say can only be done if you practice. No matter what I say, you have to practice or you'll never be good at it. Now, at a kickoff, there are three challenges you face. The first flip, the control, and the hit. The first flip is done after you've hit your first boost pad. Now, the second part is having control over the landing of the flip. So after you land, you've got to make sure to hold power slide or whatever it is to get you in control. And then the third part is the hit. Now, if you don't hit the ball exactly in the center, the ball's probably going to go on your side. It's rare it's going to go on the opponent's. Now, if we were to break down this kickoff, we see here that I have hit the boost pad. I flip immediately after, and then I flip again at the end to hit the ball. And while I'm landing in between, I have that control so I can go after the ball again. And... That means, like, ones if you can't get good at kickoffs and you have to protect your side of the goal. What do you do now? Now, this leads us to tip number two, defense. Tip number two, defense. There's defense and offense in Rocket League. And if we were to split defense into two parts, we have shadow defensing and regular defensing. Now, regular defensing would just be picnicking in the goal and taking your sweet time like all the teammates do. But we're going to be focusing on shadow defensing. Now, shadow defensing is when you stay around midfield and you work your way back towards the goal to defend the opponent with the ball from getting a goal in your shot while still challenging him and making him almost more nervous about scoring. And when you get him in that weak point that's when you have your opportunity to score now how do you practice shadow defensing there's a variety of different ways to practice it but the best thing i could recommend would just hop in free play and shoot around and try to defend the ball that's the most i really could give you you could also go into training packs and find different training packs that might help you in specific areas like shadow defensing now when you're shadow defensing, make sure to keep eye contact on the player as well. Some people just like to keep eye contact on the ball. But if you keep eye contact on the player, you'll have a better chance of blocking it because you'll know what the player is doing. Which leads us to tip number three, half flipping. Half flipping. Half flipping is one of the most important things in Rocket League to save time. Have you ever, like, been very close to saving a goal? Well, if you just reverse and you turn around, that could be why. If you do half flipping, you will at least save a half a second, if not a second, which is a big, it's a, that's a lot of time in Rock League, you know? Um, for training, I would just, yeah, hop in free play, honestly. It's not gonna, there's not gonna be, like, training packs for it, but if you hop into free play, mess around, and figure it out all half flipping is is you're canceling out your back flip and then rotating your car so the wheels face the ground there's a lot of tutorials on youtube i re recommend go checking some of those out but we are on to tip number four tip number four flex now i say flex are a big importance in rocket league because you don't have to be like air dribbling and doing all these crazy things when you can just flick around the map if you know how to flick well and dribble the ball on top of the car well then that will put you a step ahead in the right direction if you learn how to do even like simple flicks like the 180 flick or the tornado flick even those simple flicks or if you really want to you can learn like breezies or musties but those aren't very important but even just learning to dribble a car on top will put you a big step in the right direction 
And for training to these, I recommend going on to free play once again, and also using training packs that don't let the ball touch the floor. Because if the ball doesn't touch the floor, then you have to dribble it to get it into the goal. You can also create a pack if you can't find one and make one yourself that fits the type. On to tip number five. Tip number five is an all-around thing that all players need to work on. Flipping. Even I do it. I flip too much. If you stop flipping as much, you will improve your accuracy. You'll improve your patience. You'll also improve time because every time you flip, let's just say you do a front flip, you miss the ball, you can't end that front flip. You have to go through the front flip and then turn around. If you just jump, you can, as soon as you hit the ground, you can turn around right away instead of being in this forward or sideways motion. And for there, I think we're going to end the video. Because if you guys want to see a part two on the other five tips, let me know in the comments down below and like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.